Good morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show Early Edition. The latest anti-healthcare reform ads say, slow down, it's all going too fast. Slow down, we have to find a plan everybody can agree on. Slow down, we don't want to rush something as important as health care reform. You almost wonder if something else could be behind this. If we're able to stop Obama on this, it will be his Waterloo. It will break him. Ah, yes. Representative Jim DeMint holding a conference call with conservatives for patients' rights. This health care issue is D-Day for freedom in America. He's protecting us from socialism. In response, the president held his own conference call with liberal bloggers to say, enough. We've been debating this for 50 years. Actually, he's wrong. It started with FDR, who's been dead 64 years now. What stalls health care reform is that the people most harmed by the current system are the ones who are too sick or too beaten down by bills to complain about it, and the rest of us are too scared of taxes going up. And yet those of us who have insurance know that even if our taxes stay the same, our premiums are going up next year which might as well be a tax increase. So if this fails, and our tax payments to the private sector keep going up, and people keep going bankrupt for having the bad judgment to get, you know, cancer, what happens? I say we exercise our patients' rights and just stop paying our medical bills. What are they going to do? I keep hearing it's against the law for doctors to let you die. So when the private insurance finally gets unaffordable, let's just all not pay. When we need a doctor, call 911. A lot more sirens in the suburbs, but instant universal care. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show, News Talk 97.3, Cairo FM.